Warning, this audio or video may contain explicit language or extreme views. Discretion is advised. Live from the dungeon, pain train, pipe bomb, Thursday, August 31st. Jim! What's up? <laughs> the opposite of down. What's going on with you? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. It just, we, well, we also, if you, if nobody's still noticed it, the pipe bomb 1000. Yes. <laughs> Helen has made her return. She finally got Hello, everybody. Desert. She was the reason for uh, for uh, Hurricane Harvey. Hey. Hey, you were in Dallas, Me? right? So Dallas. that that's you. Yeah, but Dallas Harvey was nowhere near Dallas. Thank God. See. Oh, oh, oh wait, hold on. We got. Hold on. It's not perfect yet, but we got everything going. All right, so tonight is the night Natalina is going to make her return. Oh, yeah. Uh, we wanted to get a little few viewers in before uh, we get everything going. All right, we got Steven in. Steven, what the fuck is up? Uh, yeah, Steven couldn't uh, make the game on Monday, so. Well, neither could I, but that's okay. Yeah. Well, Steven, how does, it, how does the Jersey. sound? Does the sound good? Just let me know, because I uh, made I some adjustments. I have no Wi-Fi at all. There's no, there's no Wi-Fi on that end of the room. There's nothing? No there's problem. no wireless fidelity? Ouch. Nothing. Neither one of them is connected. Well, now we know what Wi-Fi means. Give it a minute. <laughs> we got like fucking eight people on Wi-Fi. Uh-oh. I got the Wi-Fi. And yes, once again, the uh, cleaning lady has returned. Yeah, she's somewhere in the back. Bienvenidos! Be andale. Come on, don't bullshit me. So, how was your trip? <laughs> I'm talking to you! I'm talking to you! Me? <laughs> I said, how was your trip? Who else went on a trip in the last month? He did too! He said it already, he was here. <laughs> you were gone! Okay. It was, it was Don't get me fucking started already. Ah, watch your blood pressure, honey bunny. <laughs> Nonetheless, but in all seriousness, uh, the trip was great. And I got to say, I had a great time uh, with my uh, niece and nephews and my brother. Um, so uh, the, the whole reason for it is to help out with the three children because my brother was struggling as his wife was uh, up here taking care of her dying mother's um, uh, matters. And so uh, we finally got the phone call saying that she passed and... Wow, it was um, it, it was a very topsy turvy time for all of us. But I'm hoping and uh, and I'm I'm, really, I'm seriously hoping and praying that we're all going to have a sense of normalcy. So, fingers crossed. All right, so we, I've heard fat asses on, but I know there's two of them. It's a, and then according, <laughs> well, Mike slash fat ass says Jim well, had a map moment. Nick Nick Weisberg was also in, so I'm going to play the theme for both of them. Oh boy, right here right. we go. You fat bastard! You fat bastard! You fat bastard! Okay, so we got that out of the way. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what again. Matt moment did I just recently have. I don't oh, know. of course. There's always a Matt moment. Yep. Uh, fucking donkey. All right, so we got a few people here, and uh, we're gonna have her. We're gonna have her call in because it's been a while. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Looking forward to it. I can't. I can't wait. Ted, what's up? Ted's on. Who? Teddy K. Come on. I'm oh, I don't know me. Teddy K because he didn't come up on my list. Not yet. He's not on the list. He's not on the list. That's a good thing. I mean, he Did could he make be. the list? <laughs> you just made the list! There you, there you go. That's I missed that. Yes. And uh, the second one will have um, a new format. We've already been discussing it. Helen's been out of the loop, so... The new format, basically, is we're going to wear each other's clothes. <laughs> That'll be fun. That's you two. I can't fit into female clothes. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so just waiting for Natalina to call in. We got all our volume up. And, uh, yeah. So, it's been a while. She has not been on since April. Oof. So, yes. it's about time. It was like late April like, uh, when I checked it last. And, and How about that? It's almost exactly four months. Yeah, Sheesh. Well, what you know, they, we have so much going on, you oh, know. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. And Helen looks so different from the person who was here last time when Natalie was on. Yes, our, 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 one of our producers... Is down the other end of the table. Right here. She's spoiling everybody with cookies and, oh, and whatnot. Yeah. You're, st you're starting to get the hand in. 
Yeah. You might as well just pop your face in. Go ahead. They know who I am. Yes, they know who you are. Sislam! <gasps> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how far away I uh, uh, Oh, <laughs> man. She wants to pop her head in. Yeah, oh, let her pop her go. head in. She's going to block oh, the lock that one out. Hello? This. That's like I grew a fucking other head. <laughs> Holy oh, crap. I was going to say, you got a mole in here that looks like the cleaning lady. Uh -oh. Lewis, what's up, you fat bastard? Uh, oh, boy. Yeah. Mike said cookies. I'm on my way. Oh! oh no. I haven't even had one. Oh, I've offered them to you, but you were freaking... I'm fucking running around doing shit man. over here. Hey, yeah, Deborah, yeah. let's go Rangers, as you said. All right, Deborah's here! Mm -hmm. Woo! We'll also make that announcement later, too, because we, uh, we, have, we have a lot of stuff cooking. Oh, the, yeah, uh, we do. Upcoming before. weeks. Exactly. We so. have a, a cookies. house party. Cookies house by Missy Ann Sweet Treats down the other end of the table. Yay. Yay. I yeah. uh, my, my hand is bigger than fucking Helen's head at this point. Yes, <laughs> well, I am small, hey. so... Uh-oh, something tells me that Nick is going to barrel in here, too. He doesn't know where I live, thank God. <laughs> oh boy! All right, so Lewis, we're just, we just—we got to get you uh, on the show with your with your man boobs. Ew! That's disgusting. <laughs> that is just purely disgusting. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of people in here. This is nice. Oh yeah! <laughs> this is very very nice. Oh, hey um, Joseph! <laughs> you know what? Just to just to make sure that she feels at home. Tag her in the video. Share it to her page. I don't know if I can. Just so she knows. I don't know if I could share it. Yes, I you can. can. share it to mine. Oh, jeez. You Oops. can share it to a friend's page. Fifteen people. All right. So while we're waiting, Jim, Please. explain to people the new setup. The, 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 the Pipe Bomb 1000. Um, while everybody else is... Uh, I think you should respond to that last one. Lewis, my man boobs are not bigger than Anna's. <laughs> well, hey now. Whoa! No way, no. Oh shit! Hey, cleanly. Stephen just said, "Hey, Jimmy, Joey Torres is back in New York." Yes, he is. <laughs> That's okay. nice. I love it. Hi, right, Joey. Lewis is laughing at you. We'll get you on the show one of these days, Lewis. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you know, we'll keep the Coronas at home. And the, uh, and, and the pussy part. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh she oh. is back. Oh! Hello, Natalina. Hey, how are you? What's going on? Not, it is Thursday. It's almost Friday. Weekend's coming. Yeah, you got a loaded <laughs> weekend coming up, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, just like however right now I'm always so busy, I literally just forgot what I had to do this weekend. Like, I have to think about it because I have so many different things on my calendar. It's crazy. Well, we have Is that Helen sad here. or is that, is that old age? Yeah, don't tell me about that, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Helen's here. She say hello. She hasn't actually formally met you yet. Hello, Miss Natalina. It's quite an honor. Uh, hello. How are you, honey? Very well. Um, I can't complain. I'm still alive. So, and I get to meet Miss Corvino online. This is such a treat. Thank you so much. <laughs> and 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 your boy, the uh, the crow king over here, Jimmy's here too. What's up? Hey. <laughs> How's it going? I think I've gotten I've gotten two more tattoos since the last time I talked to you of the crow. <laughs> I've actually oh. gotten a couple more myself. Did you see? <laughs> awesome! Nice. You, you, you can't have more than you cannot have more than me. We we just can't have that happen. No, I mean, trust me, you'll hurt me. Oops. I'm very I'm very competitive. Yes. I, I I have to have more. This is the way it is. Okay. All right. I'll let that one go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you know why you let that? You know why you go? Because I said so. That's uh -oh. why. Uh, dude, I'm like legitimately scared right now. Uh -oh. Just think of it this way. If she ever makes her way up here and we go to see her, I'm not protecting you. That's okay. I will He's hide behind her. No, no, no. Jimmy is fair game for Miss Natalina. How's that? I will take yeah. the beating graciously. <laughs> Just don't smother me uh, right. with, the, with the, you know, those voluptuous uh, thingamajigs. You know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, that's that thing of a jig. Yeah. By, by the way, she has agreed 
to become an honorary pipe bomb member yeah. and use profanity Woo! during the show. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Wait, yeah. I can't wait for that. <laughs> so the gloves are off. I, I, the, the, the contract was signed. The agreement was done. Anyway, she is a full fledged pipe bomb member. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's what so yeah, I, I have, I have, um, an important issue to address with you. Um, I did watch uh-huh. the Nick D show last night that you graciously have on every Wednesday night around nine thirty, ten o'clock on Facebook. So uh-huh. it's a promo yeah. for Nick D. Um, tell everybody uh-huh. about the fundraising event that you're taking part of this weekend. Thank you. Um, yes, it is for the Live Life Foundation, which was started by Tracy Donnan, who is married to Nick D's cousin. Tracy, um, sure a lot of them people saw it, 52 years old, looks phenomenal, and has been living with lupus for 13 years. If anybody who does not know what lupus is, I'm not going to give you the whole medical terminology, but it, it, it is can be extremely debilitating. It is a very, it's horrible because my husband's mother actually had it as well. So we got to see firsthand what it did to her. Um, she did not deal with it as well as Tracy does. Tracy is very active. Uh, my husband's mother was not. She kind of let it, she let it control her. Tracy is a breath of fresh air. And they started this fundraiser and is for the Lucas Foundation, Beauty Beyond the Look, because when her... When Lupus took over her body, you know, she lost a lot of weight, she lost her hair, lost her drive to even move at one point, and she felt ugly, and she had said this. Uh, these are her words, not mine. And she turned it around and was like, I'm not going to let this control me. And her husband was her biggest support system, and he wanted to try to make it to where she was going to come out of it, basically. And he's like, what does my wife love to do? She loves fashion. And so they started doing fashion and fashion shows. When she started the Life Foundation and the Beauty Beyond the Look fashion show, she wanted to showcase all different types of models, short, tall, overweight, not over, whatever, whatever size they are. I'm not even going to say the word overweight because it's whatever size. And she wants to show everything. No matter what you are, no matter what size you are, no matter what race you are, no matter uh, what height you are, you're still beautiful. And that's what this fashion show is all about. And it is to bring awareness, and to bring everybody together, and to raise fundraise, to have a fundraiser for this cause. And I think it is done very well. Um, from what I'm understanding, I think we're almost sold out. And that's not an exaggeration. That's Ooh. literally, we had a certain amount of tickets that we could sell, and we're almost at capacity for the building. And that is a major, major thing. And these people have worked hard on this. We have rehearsed almost every other, rehearsing every other weekend, and promoting as much as we possibly could, and just putting just putting the word out there. And it's been phenomenal, the response that we've been getting. Well, that's it's definitely a good thing. And I watched a little bit of the show on and off last night, and I was actually, I was actually very moved um, by, like, everything that was said on the show, and for all those that are watching and are listening to the video right now, um, there is a way to do donations. I know that you guys are also doing the donations for the hurricane as well. Yes, we are taking, um, we had said it was plus size clothing because it was a plus size coordinator um, out of, I think she's out of, technically lives in Durham. I could be wrong. She's either in Durham and Greensboro. And, um, but I think we're actually taking all clothing. I actually have the address to send the clothing to, which I can post uh, for you so that you can, if you want to share it for any of your listeners that want to send clothes. But yeah, we're, we're just trying to get as what we can. I mean, there's always so much certain people can do. Um, but people are definitely going to need clothes because I can't imagine everything's probably ruined in a lot of people's homes and a lot of that's clothing. I mean, you know, that's something that you definitely need besides financial help. Clothing is part of that. And so Kenyatta Johnson, wonderful woman, um, 
She's a, she is a coordinator herself of fashion shows. She is also a plus size model, and uh, she's organizing this. And so far, I think we're actually getting a good response from this as well. So it's, it's good to see that there are people who are supportive. That, that's the main thing. I can't stand it when people just don't support others in positive things. It seems like only people only jump on the negative bandwagons. So to actually see people jump on the positive things is just amazing to me. I love it. Amen. Absolutely. Yeah. So you guys have any questions for Natalina? I mean... Jim, you got to speak to her a few months ago, right. and occasionally on and off. So I'm sure you got questions. Helen, you have questions. Knock yourselves out. Go ahead. <laughs> Helen, I'll, I'll give you the honor of uh, asking first. It's you know your well, first time talking to her. Well, for one, I did watch a couple of your matches, which I thought were um, were a lot of fun, and also you were not one to uh, make it easy for for your opposition, which I absolutely love. That's one thing I would love to say. Thank you. My pleasure. Did you did you see the one where uh, with the uh, thumbtacks? That I didn't get uh, to catch because I was in between. Uh, I was uh, doing um, something at school as well as uh, as well as what whatever time I had in between. Um, I was able to um, glimpse at uh, glimpse at some of our uh, what do you call it, your YouTube videos. So yeah, I think I think it was a uh, this was like the July something. It was uh, yeah, during this one part of one of my videos. That, videos um, I yeah. went. I definitely saw the one from February and yeah. the one from April. Those are the ones I only had time time to watch for a while. Okay. Though, so, but I did yeah, well, if, if, if you ever want to see Natalina go through some thumbtacks, just look at that one, and that, that's, that was kind oh, of hysterical. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> definitely at least see, I love to see our friends get tortured, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you should be like, oh, yeah. you know what? <laughs> this chick went through some 600 thumbtacks. Let me give her credit. You know, I was like, I, that, that, that looks like it hurts. Well, <laughs> well it that's it. We're sitting her up with a fist. She gets a thousand instead of six hundred. That sounds like a because you know you have to add on the extra four hundred. There's actually a uh, there's actually a question for you in the uh, group chat from our buddy Stephen. He, he says, "Who is your favorite wrestler of all time?" Which, uh, in other words, which uh, wrestler influenced you? Oh. Or inspired you? Well, this is like a two-part question because yeah. well, as, well, I, I, I've admitted. Ah, no, <laughs> I have too much respect for for that. <laughs> um, I, I have admitted that I did not watch wrestling as a child and grow up with it like my fellow colleagues. Um, but I did. You know, the first person I ever saw was China, and I wanted to emulate her because I admired her size and her beauty. To me, she was beautiful um, because she was so different. It was like, okay, I don't, I, at my age at the time, I never saw female bodybuilders, basically, especially on wrestling. That was, that was something totally different. You know, I rarely saw it on regular TV, let alone that, and I wanted to emulate her. Fast forwarding to now, who I wanted to be like first was AJ Lee. Um, I thought she played crazy wonderfully. <laughs> and I, I was like That's I could fun. probably do that. Huh? That's always fun. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I could I think I could do crazy. I'm Italian. It's like kind of naturally in our blood, you know? It's I like know. You know, all you gotta do is say one wrong thing. <laughs> I mean, say one wrong thing or take away our cheesecake, that's it. All hell's going to break loose. So oh, I can do no, crazy. No, that ain't no. a problem. Yikes. Take away our cheesecake. Yeah. yeah, don't touch my freaking cheesecake. That ain't happening. Well, uh, you'd have a competition <laughs> with the cheesecake. I'm like cheesecake king over here. In terms of what? Making or eating? Okay. Both. <laughs> wait, no, wait. I, I no, make no, a no, mean no. ass cheesecake. So do way. I. Bake off. What do we say? Listen, I before we go to bake off, all right? Barbecue is my thing, all right? And I, I promised Natalino if she comes up, I'd make her some fresh barbecue. Ooh, that would be fun. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to go into barbecue coma. No, you wouldn't. But all, all I'm saying is, no, I, I probably would because I could eat me some barbecue. But until you actually sound like you're having a full-blown orgasm when you're eating cheesecake, you cannot meet, eat meat in cheesecake. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. She said eat her. I, I don't know about that part. Eat her away from the cheesecake, maybe? I don't know. 
She said, first of all, she said ether and orgasm in the same sentence. Um, so, I'm saying <laughs> it. She needs to say that she's into enjoy it. It's like, you know, having an you orgasm. Having Did somebody orgasm. give her a speaking right. part? Oh, no. By the way, she bought in. <laughs> by the way, Natalina, that's our cleaning lady in the background. Hola. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, oh. The death. Wow, we went like totally in a different direction here. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> the gloves, we told you um, the gloves were off, so. Exactly. I mean, come I, on. I, we I, we I, all walked into you, it. You give me anything. Okay. You give so, me anything. I, I'm, I'm good. All right, so you're not booked in any like broad panties matches anytime soon, right? Oh boy. No, well, it. I was trying to get to Florida. A friend of mine, Jimmy Janetti, is now is living in Florida, and he either runs a promotion or co-runs a promotion. I can't I can't remember which one, but I know he's involved heavily in one of them. And they're doing wrestling shows at a strip club. And I was joking with him. I said, oh, so basically I could go wrestle and then I can go, you know, dance for a couple hours and really make some money, huh? And, yeah, I, I'm 40. I'm not dancing anymore. Plus, I would be very slippery going up and down the pole with all the, you know, oil because they were doing, like, jello wrestling matches. Oh. And I'm like, oh, I can do jello. Yeah. Wait, where's my yeah. invitation? <laughs> oh, shit. I like jello. Florida's only, like, so, a two-hour ride. Right. matches. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. All right. So speaking yeah. of the wrestling, okay, give us an update uh, on how things have been going with uh, PPW. Uh, is, we are, I thought we were busy before. We are actually, we just got another another uh, building as mm. far as uh, Pure Pro Wrestling was technically based out of Pelham, North Carolina. So we ran in Pella, North Carolina, then we started doing Montville, Virginia, then Vinton, Virginia. We now finally, in the hometown that I live in, Danville, Virginia, we just uh, started running at what's called Skate Town, uh, which is a skating rink. I used, to, I used to actually roller skate there like 20 years ago, and it's still in operation, which is hysterical. And we are running there now. And the response that we got the first day, which was August 17th, was our first uh, show there. And this is segueing into another part. Um, I had just done my first anti-bullying campaign that day at uh, the local middle school. So we weren't trying to necessarily, like, promote our show, per se. I did bring it up. We brought it up a few times. Basically, because it was like, okay, we, we, we it was me and uh, another colleague of mine, Rex Chapel, and I was like, you know, we're here talking to you, and we've only got this short amount of time, you know, to talk to each class. If you guys can, you know, just come out to the show, we would love to see you, we'd love to hang out with you, you know, you know see us at intermission. Also, we would like to show what hard work and dedication gets you. You know, we were trying to prove that, you know, you may not think you can do it, but if you work hard enough, you can't. Amen. The amount of kids that showed up that night to our show was astronomical. Like, I didn't think maybe 10 kids may show up. I think we had at least 50 kids from that mm. school, and that was with one day notice, show up that night. So it's like now Pure Pro is just, like, going crazy with dates and shows, and it, it, it's, it's wonderful. It's, it's tiring, <laughs> but it's wonderful. Wow. Now, you are know, right? very <laughs> inspiring. Now, last time we talked, well, live on the air, we're live with Natalita Corlina, Corino. Corvino. Uh, yes. She's on the phone right now. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comment box. Uh, we're not allowing the phone calls for this episode. It's too sophisticated. Um, <laughs> we're sophisticated? Yes, we are. Since when? We have the Pipe Bomb 1000 right now, this lovely new monitor for you guys to look at. This is quite true. See? So, um, you got you were having issues when you had the title before. Um, which direction did yes. that go? Well, I do not have my title right now. Oh. Um, however, however, excuse me, let me, let me correct myself. I do not have my Pure Pro title right now. I am currently 
Saturday night, yeah, if I could talk, it'd be great. Saturday night mayhem championship wrestling. I have that title right now. Yes. Uh, that is out of supply, North Carolina. If anybody was wondering where that was at, I am, however, have my rematch against the lovely woman that kind of took away my title from me because she didn't really win it fair and square. But I digress on that. And that match will be September the 9th, which is a week from Saturday. Yeah, tell North Carolina. And I have been, let's say, what's the word? I'm looking for that whole fire up your ass thing. Yeah, that's there. So I'm bound to determine to get it back. Well, it's better fire up your ass than something else. Because I kind of really miss it. What? <laughs> that's true. That, 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 that's very true. That's very, very true. I agree with you. <laughs> See, I mean, we catch people well off guard on that one. Jimmy wasn't even paying attention. Uh, <laughs> who was he, the question is, what was he paying attention to or let alone listening to the conversation? All of a sudden, I hear something about being things shoved up people's asses. <laughs> what the fuck? So, you want to give everybody the information for the uh, the card, Nanny? Uh, the card itself, I know, obviously, Danny Ferreira will be there. Um, a new tag team has just been, let's say, born. And they are American Dynamite, which is Chris TNT Taylor and Thomas Straven. And I actually know Thomas Straven personally for now 13 years. So I'm very happy for him. He actually was just on his first poster. So that was really? kind of a big thing. Yeah, uh, I'm very excited. And they they get a very, very – they've only had one match as a tag team, or two actually, excuse me. And they actually get a very, very big pop when they come out because when they were singles, they got a pop on their own. But now put those boys together, you just get the whole place erupting. And it, it's just great. Ooh. Um, Sin Crawley and Rex Chapel will be there, which is the Sons of Salem. And Zane Wolf will be there as well. And hmm, who else? I can't even remember because my brain is just gone. And his tag team partner, Ivan Ali. Very so very that's cool. going to be a pretty heavy card with, you know, we're, we're, I'm going to say big names for our area because everybody knows who these guys are. And everybody knows Dave Wolf and Ali and Sons of Salem. And they're going to know who Thomas Draven is because he's, he's still he's still kind of, you know, new in the business. Okay. Chris TNT is more, a little bit more established, but now as a tag team, everybody's going to be chanting that tag team thing. We have a question from another viewer. Uh, Stephen Waldman yes, asked, sir. if you were in a tag team match, which professional professional wrestler would you tag with? I would probably want to tag with Charlotte because she does all those, you know, off the top rope, crazy air things that I cannot do. So I would want to tag with her. So it, it, huh? That sounds great because I love it. The contract. Yeah, so and I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't do any of that. I'm the powerhouse. You know, I'm, I'm like, I, I've said this, you know, if, if I start going the top rope, somebody better start running because either there's a bear in the room or something, because something's wrong if I'm going to the top rope. There's something wrong. Yeah. So, well, she can do all that, and I can do the ground stuff, but that's like a completely total opposite. Between. Plus, she's like, what, seven feet tall, and I'm five foot two? So, just me standing alone, me just standing next to her will just be, you know, just cute. I think, because I'll be like, oh, she's so tiny. That's so, in other words, in other words, her, her, this is actually like, it, it blew my mind just now the way they just, she fucking, she just said that. But, Imagine <laughs> her and Charlotte compared to the British Bulldogs. Oh! Because, no, no, seriously. Wow. Because Davy Boy Smith was the powerhouse. Yes. And Dynamite Kid was the yeah. high flyer. Yeah, he was the so agile one. So it would be the one. comparison yeah, yeah, yeah. to the British Bulldogs. Right. Damn. Now, uh, Steve yeah. also added a, a second part to the question. 
uh, mixed tag. What mixed uh, tag? male wow. wrestler would you tag? Would you tag with? <laughs> uh, okay, I have a um, I have a slight crush on Enzo Amore, so oh, I would. Oh, just put, oh, uh, I'm I, here. I would want to tag I with him. I would want to tag with him just for that reason alone. <laughs> um, also because, yeah, exactly. And plus, I want him to do like the dance in front of me and everything. And um, just so he could like, you know, introduce him that way that he introduces himself. I want him to do it to me. Or um, he doesn't wrestle. The, I don't think he wrestles on WWE anymore, but, oh, my God, Hornswoggle? That would just be a dream come true for me. Hornswoggle is in GFW right now, Hornswoggle? by the way. Wow. And he's not going by <laughs> yeah. Hornswoggle. I don't think he's going by that, I think that he name goes, anymore. He goes by his own name, man. Like his real name. Uh, he goes by Interesting. So Hornswoggle was a kid. Yeah, but let me tell you, though, Hornswoggle can hold his own, you know. I mean, yes, he's like, he can. He's yes, like three he foot can. nothing, but, you know, he does that freaking tadpole splash. I'm and, done. Don't oh, forget geez. the sweet shin music. Yes. Okay. I'm, lo- I'm sorry. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> lost in translation here. <laughs> oh. So, what else is going on, Natty? We 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 give you time to air your grievances, and it could be about anything. Is there anybody you hate? Oh, yeah. That could that could take like longer than that like, could be a longer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's see. My grievances. Gee, we have all this stuff going on in the world, and mm-hmm. you've got people bitching, whining, and complaining about the stupidest little shit. Yes. And it irritates me. And it irritates me that I don't get into Facebook wars with people. I can't stand that. I, I hate when people do that. Oh, I think it's you. immature. I think it's basically you're... You have a very, very small penis when you're having a Facebook wall with somebody. I can't stand that. Um, <laughs> I love this yeah. woman. I value yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying my strap on is way bigger than most of these guys' penises that, you know, are having these Facebook wars. But I digress. Um, I saw something, what was it, two days ago. It was about... I'm assuming I, if I if I can't talk about this, tell me the whole sexy star incident. Can I talk about this? Sure, go for it. Okay, so I watched the video. I see the backlash. I see the comments. I have my not my personally, but there are fellow independent wrestlers who were saying how it was all fake. Now, this is my opinion. Again, doesn't make it right. I can sometimes be wrong. I'm only 98% right all the time. You know, I got that 2% wrong. I don't think it was a work because I don't think anybody would ruin their career like that. There's other ways to get heat. But there were people who were like, no, y'all are stupid. You know, it's work. It's the work. It's the work. She didn't shoot on her. You had Cody Rhodes make a public statement about it. You, uh, there was several other who I can't remember. Cody Rose is the one that stuck out in my head. Um, other, oh, Cage from WWE also made a statement uh, in positive towards Rosemary, not to fix R. And I was like, these people would not put their names on the line because they would know. Mm-hmm. And I think the whole world is so shaded by, oh, let's post this fake Facebook death story, or, oh, this person died but didn't really die. So because you do all this crap, now people are not believing when someone actually tried to injure another human being. And I think it's BS, because the first thing that was done that I saw was that WrestleCade pulled her out. WrestleCade's a big thing. WrestleCade would not allow this to happen. From my they don't understanding, want their though, name to get dragged to the mud. Even though she's still with uh, AAA and Lucha, she lost like a lot uh-huh. of shows just just with over the weekend yeah. alone. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll I'll try nobody, to find the footage Nobody for you, but, is um, going to do that to themselves. But yeah, it you was can a pretty be good a heel. <laughs> yeah, you can be a heel and get heat. Yeah. Kevin Owens gets heat all the time. Yeah, but, but there Kevin, he, that that way was not going to benefit her in any way. So who, 
when, it, when everyone's like, oh, it's a work, why? She ruined herself right there. No one is going to want her on any shows. WrestleCade is one of the biggest things of the year that she's pulled out of it. She lost how much money uh, that she could have made by being at WrestleCade by this incident that occurred. If anybody, if I was at her level, and someone came to me and go, look, we're going to come up with this thing, and we're going to pretend to break this girl's arm, so, and, but we're going to tell everybody that you did it on purpose so that your whole entire career is kind of shitty for a while. But don't worry, six months from now you'll be fine. I'd be like, hell no. That's why I don't even want to be a heel, because I don't like to be hated. I want to be loved and adored by all these kids because I can't be mean to them. There's no way. I couldn't, be, I couldn't do that. And I don't think anybody with a common sense would be like, yeah, sure, go ahead, do whatever. I don't believe it for a second. But that's just my opinion. Well, um, yeah. I can actually say I've actually met the man, Kevin Owens slash Kevin Steen, uh, through Ring of Honor. Um, uh -huh. Whatever he does in the ring or with, with promo or whatever, that's his persona. However, yep. the... The, the public in itself don't see like the actual behind the scenes stuff, uh, the travel, the meet and greets, the, I mean, the whole thing off camera, nobody really gets to see. He used to do those videos. And he, right. he used to do videos on YouTube itself. And I was a big subscriber to it. I watched the videos all day long and he's a normal guy, but with right. my understanding of, her thing is that by her doing the push or technical, I'll put it in parentheses, shoot, um, that she was trying to uh -huh. make herself more aggressive instead of like babyish or um, le uh, like extreme feminine like wrestling type things. Like there's not real very much aggression to it. You know, kind of like the way it was with the divas with the, the pillow fights and everything. Yes, it was like yes. it was pussified. Right. It, that was the way it was. Ouch. Um, to me, though, she just dug herself a bigger hole, though. It, it's not something you're going to be able to come out of yeah. anytime soon. No. And I, I saw someone else say something that it was, um, they said, you know, oh, you know, somebody shot on another wrestler, you know, for this big organization. So what? It happens in independent wrestling all the time. That doesn't make it right. Why is that? That's not acceptable. It's I don't understand people's mentality. It's, oh, so you broke his arm. Oh, who cares? You know what? F you. <laughs> Somebody breaks someone else on purpose, guess what? One of those things is going to be you. And I, I don't understand that mentality. I go into every show I have where I don't want to break her. I want to hurt the person, you know, enough. But I don't want to break anybody. And it's not even like I want to hurt you. It's like I want to win. Just a minute. You want, want to whip their yeah. ass and, and get it over with. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and I, I'm i five foot two inches tall. I could come across as a badass. There are other women who are more stronger than me that are bigger than me. And I don't feel the need to do that to make myself look better than them. Or, exactly. you know, it's like, oh, you're not as bad of a you know, badass as she is. Guess what? Um, in the end, sometimes I am. If I win... I wrestled Ronnie Nicole. I'm sure you all know who she is, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. From Japan. Okay. I was I turned into a scared little bitch in the locker room because I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to fight Ronnie Nicole, who's been to Japan, where they're hardcore over there. And I'm like, I may not live through this match. And, you know, I was, like, texting with a friend of mine, and I'm like, okay, you know, uh, pray for me because I think I'm going to die today. Tell everybody I love them. I mean, look, this is no, like, legit. This happened. Like, I did do it. I texted my husband, and I'm like, oh, my God, I love you. I'm sorry. I'll, you know, I'm going to die today. He was just letting you know. Um, okay. Literally. And I go, we, you know, the match occurs, and the she finished. Excuse me, she won by doing the bonsai on me, which I don't know if you know if you don't know what it is. What it is is basically um it's a Japanese plan. she leg sweeps me and then basically she lands on my chest with her butt. 
Yeah. She's got a big butt. Like right. he's Just like a, huge, curvy, we, you know, we, perfect. We have to we have to clarify butt. one thing. She didn't get a three a tree thrown on her. Okay, it's a wrestling maneuver yeah. called the bonsai. Okay, <laughs> Yokozuna was famous for that. Him and his wow. big fat red ass oh tights. God. Bonsai done. Sorry, I had to get that out. She's she's not a re- huge wrestling fan. Sorry, I'm not a wrestling person. <laughs> Haven't been for many years now. <laughs> <laughs> but like it happened and I couldn't breathe after it and I'm like I can't move you know I gotta like lay here for you're a minute the and I'm like they're like huh you're the miracle woman <laughs> I know right but like it took me a while to roll out and of course you know before that she had chopped me this chick chops harder than a man oh I have told every guy that has chopped me I'm like you were gonna chop me like you would anybody else, give it to me as hard as you possibly can if you Ooh. don't, I'm kicking you in the nuts. Simple as that. So I've been chopped by guys, and they do it hard. This girl chops harder than they do. Ooh. And I mean, give, give that girl crap. I mean, she is hard, freaking poor. So after she did the body body, I'm like kind of laying there on the mat. Like, okay, I can't breathe, can't move. I'm just going to linger until they roll me out. Nope, nobody came rolled me out, so I just got to roll myself out. Throw myself on the ground, you know. I'm like, my chest was so swollen from the chop. And I'm, oh, but at the end, when I was done, I was like, I lived. I lived through my first Ronnie Nicole match. And nobody had to break any arms or break anything. We just brought it, you know. That That's all that mattered. And girlfriend has lost some weight, it, look, it seems like. And, I mean, it looked like I was bigger than she was. That's so it was kind of like... See. I want to see that. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Now that you you you've kind of brought this match up, obviously it's it's from the Orient, the the, the wrestling overseas. Um, how much of a difference do you see in that compared to what U.S. wrestling is right now? Well, I know Japan is just way more hardcore. I, I think that they the I think the rules are somewhat different. And that's fine. That's their rules. Um, I personally don't think I could ever do that because I think kind of like what a hardcore match is in America, you know, you do that every once in a while. They do it all the time. I think it's like a regular every show thing or almost every, every match thing. I mean, they take it to the extreme. Yeah. They love to push their um, they love to push their boundaries. Apparently. Yeah, but you also have to understand though, it's Censorship. here here it's it's like meditated entertainment it's preemptive there right there there it's it's we will put on a show that will make you come back we will make put on a show to make you buy our merchandise show up and put your butt right. in the seats watch us on tv every week watch us on the internet every week the the, the wrestling overseas is 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 more profound now because yeah. That's their entertainment. That's their yeah. big deal entertainment. Oh yeah. Where here we'll have all of our major sports like baseball, football, hockey, basketball. Oh yeah. Um, soccer is now making a transition. Oh wait, hold on. Let me be political. Football international. <laughs> for all those viewers that <laughs> piss on me for saying soccer, but wrestling over there is huge. It, it's like a, a cultural icon. Yeah. Yep. There's another question for you in the uh, the group comments. Uh, Steven asks, do you see yourself in the WWE one day? I am 40 years old, and unfortunately, by that standard, I am too old to be in the WWE. However, mm-hmm. I am not opposed, nor am I giving up hope that one day I can be – you know, just on one episode, like when they're in Roanoke or Greensboro or something, and they need an independent wrestler to be in a squash match, which I will be raising both my hands and both my feet or whatever and just flail myself around going, please pick me and please let me, you know, be against my Jax because that will be like my greatest Okay. Maybe, I, I, I don't know if you want to say accomplishment, but my, that would probably be one of my greatest things ever that could happen. Okay, so if this ever happens, this is the miracle question mm-hmm. out of all of them. Would you hire 
the crew from the pipe bomb to manage and train you before the match? Of course. Yes. yes. <laughs> Woo! Yes, we're in. We could be bodyguards too. <laughs> there you go. That's the, of course well, I do. I'll need an entourage. Well, I was was talking with Natalina a few days ago about a thing. Yeah. It, it should be like her new moniker, the Corvino Project. Ooh. We could we can get a really cool <laughs> outfit for her to go out in, and we could be like those mystical assholes that walk next to her. You know? That, I mean, it works. In those robes? Yes. Those I was doing monk, a robe. I don't monk care. Robes. Monk robes. Yes. Oh, well, I'll do it. I'm in. Five foot two, just you and Jimmy. Yes. And you'd be like bodyguards. Exactly. No That's the point. <laughs> you know what I said? I'm not close to the microphone. Natalie, did you hear what Melissa said? I didn't hear that very last part. Okay, hold on. I said you at five foot two. If Ricky was on your left and Jimmy was on your right, it would be like walking with your bodyguards. There you have it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Ah. Exactly. <laughs> because I'm because I'm five foot six and they dwarf me. <laughs> nice. I, I wonder. Nice. I wonder what kind of face paint we would have. Ooh. You know, how about skeleton a hood, face? Paint? A hood could fall off. I mean, I could look like a White Walker. Oh God, you know. What about skeleton? Uh, what about one of those skeleton well, masks? I don't know. Oh, wait. Well, See, if you if you're gonna be the Corvino people, then we would have to kind of be with the traditional of the crow, and you would have to do the eyes. I, I can come on for that one. I of course that. he would. <laughs> now, my question is, okay, how about this? We'll make a little deal. We'll do that face paint for you. Would you allow us to have the paint train pipe bomb logo on our robes? Of course I would. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. By the way, that wasn't my initial idea. I kind of stole it from Steven in the group chat. <laughs> Just to let you know. Sorry, <laughs> Trademark infringement. It's all good. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Steven says that your robe has to have the paint, paint train logo Actually, on it. Actually, he's got a point. We would have to mystify it somehow, though, because oh, yeah. like, we'll make the paint train logo with the crow makeup on it. Yes, we could do that. Ooh, I I'm creative like that. <laughs> See, <laughs> you have no idea. Like, I could do all sorts of shit. Graphic artist at uh, residence here. Yes. So. I'll make I'll make the post fight cookies. Yes. Yes. Melissa says she'll make the post fight pastries. <laughs> that, that, that just goes oh, like oh, chicken piccata. Man. How about Italian afterwards? <laughs> Italian oh, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> uh, 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 we we got to make this happen now just for all these ideas that have just popped up within like the last three minutes. I mean, yes. seriously, this right, now so has I, to happen. So I have a lot of we free time on my hands down, anyway. Man. We gotta so write these I, I these think down. I can start creating stuff. Let's do it. I've got a lot of free time right, right now. Let's get on it. Oh, man. oh wow. Let's Steven get, let's get, let's get on it. Make this happen. Somebody contact WWE, first of all, and like be like, look, Maya, we got this girl that is like, uh, has like an unhealthy obsession for you, and she just wants you to beat her ass. Just seriously. Just, just wait, beat her ass, and she'll just be the happiest purpose. I might, yeah. I might actually like watching that. But wait a sec. Hold on. This just brings up a, a totally big royal twist here. We might have to call Eric Bischoff. Why? Who? Because he was the creator of HLA. Oh. Okay. And if, if she has a, this woman crush on Nia Jax, uh -oh. Eric Bischoff might as well promote it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, I mean, I, 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 will, I will even, uh, you know, I, I'll even do like the I'm crazy, I'm co I, I just want you to beat me thing if, that, if that's going to, you know, make it happen. I, I yeah. really don't care. I'm, I'm good with that. Cause that'll is... be, you know, I won't have to sell shit. I'll be, all the noises I'll be making will be real because I'll just be happy. Is this Mickey James 2.0? <laughs> yeah, it is Mickey James 2.0. This is Mickey James 2.0. Yep. No, it's not. No, no, because my 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 obsession is like really real, like really, really, really real. <laughs> like you have, you have no idea. This. I get I get tingles when she comes out. I'm like all happy, perky nipples and everything. It's just like. <gasps> Thank God. Oh, she, she just mentioned nipples. Yes, she did. Ah, uh, yeah. Wow. Now I, she really fits in. <laughs> oh yeah, she's really in now. Woo! <laughs> nice. She said See, I told you I'm an open book. You know, I I, I don't hide nothing. I am who I am. Okay, then I guess I'm. That's gonna, way to be, right? If you're an open book, then I got a question that I 
was pondering the other oh. day. Uh oh. Jesus. Hold Here on. We go. Uh, just forgive us. Brace yourselves. <laughs> I'm not even going to give a topic. I'm just going to ask the question. You should know what I mean. Uh, are they real or fake? <laughs> they are real. Yes. Yeah, there you go. They you are real. Power, dude. There you go. <laughs> I don't owe you anything. <laughs> I told you they were real. <laughs> I have actually, I have actually had three breast reductions. Three. Wow. Reductions. Oh yes. That means they were bigger. Now yes. you owe me a dollar. <laughs> You're even. You guys are even. Let's leave it at that. Well, you were gone for three weeks. You were out of the betting. Hey! This is between me and him. Oi, oi, oi. Listen, I know what went down, but still. Oh, man. See. Oh. Okay. And people don't believe people don't believe me when I tell them that. I'm like, yeah, they were, no, you know, they weren't too much really. bigger, but they were bigger. I can And that. actually, one of my... One of my surgeries, um, I did not have to be completely under four, so it was a local, and I was awake the entire time, and I actually watched the doctor cut me open and, you know, remove skin so cool. and tissue. I'm sorry, I'm a, fr I'm a fan of yeah, surgical procedures. That's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, but see, I... I've seen sick It was funny pop. because I actually had, uh, I had a crush on the doctor. He was so That's hot. That's why she like, did it. And so, <laughs> That's why she I did, did it. Let me, let me warn did. you real quick. Surgeons are super horny. <laughs> well, I don't know if he was. I think he was married. I think he was married. But he was really, really hot. Well, he wasn't so, wearing his ring like, the surgery. Because you know, your hands have to be free. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she needs to do is have a boob with a fucking ring in it while she's walking around. It jingles. Oh okay, so now I now I got ah. the answer. I'm going home. See you later. <laughs> 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 hey, it's wow. a good thing that uh, Karasu wasn't here with his question that you Oh my god. Oh, no, no, I'm no. no. We're not it. going there. Let's We're yeah. not going there. Oh, uh, she's showing it we're, we're showing off the cookies again. Natty, you're gonna have to watch this video. It's in the evidence bag. I will. I will. Because she she decided to tease you with the chocolate chip cookies. Oh boy! While you're there, give me one. Oh, I'll, I love I'll it. Take, I'll you. take the cookie instead of the dollar. You know. Okay, I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they're not right. paying off your debt. All right, Natty. So I'll give you the dollar. Then. You got any other promos you want to shoot for the uh, for the audience? Ah, let's see. We uh, Pure Pro, definitely. Uh, just keep up with everything that I'm doing because I post it nonstop. I, get, I think I get annoying to people at times. I really don't care because what's, what's the point of having shows if you can't promote them? So you know what? I don't care. Look at my stuff. Um, all of my modeling shows that are coming up, I definitely have one, obviously, this coming Saturday for the Live Life Foundation, Beauty Beyond the Look. Uh there will be video, I'm sure, and I have absolutely, honestly, no idea exactly what I'm wearing yet. I think, actually, one of them possibly, can't be positive, I think possibly, one is where I'm supposed to basically wear a man's suit, which I think is kind of sexy. I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to tell you, I love the tutu the much, other day. I, I think I could pull it off though, because I, I walk manly, so it's like me walking down the runway with a manly suit on. I think I think when I look, up, I think I can pull it off pretty good. By, by and the way, you know, you never know what. Natty, Natty, Melissa has a comment for you. Okay. I said I love the tutu from the other day. Yes. Wasn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, they're talking about women's fashion. It now. was. It we was have to great. Go I loved it. <laughs> Wait, she said Bye, she's going to put on a man's suit? I want like personal yeah, I preview can rock on a man's suit. I want like personal preview on Yeah. That. Why not? Well, as soon as I get it on, I'll be snapping pictures. Trust me. <laughs> I'll, I'll be waiting for that one. Because yeah, if you don't have suit better I, than I got, me, I got them I'm not going to wear one again. Seriously. Oh boy! See, I'm hoping that it's the it's the, the I'm hoping it's the suit where I don't have to wear a shirt underneath. So I'm hoping I can like do that kind of look. That I've always wanted to pull that one off. And especially since I've had breast reductions, I can actually do that. I think you can you know? pull it off. You can do it. Ooh, I think ooh. I can. I think should I can. I, should I ask the other question that we were pondering the other day? Oh, Go right boy. ahead. Ask. But, ask me. But if she kills you. <laughs> 
Then she We're takes her spot on the show. Hands. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I get over the giggles. Um, <laughs> Breathe. Oh, oh, God. There we go. This ain't Lamaze class. I'm going to cover my ears. You're going to come in your ears? <laughs> cover. Cover. Oh, my cover. goodness. Okay. All right. Um, That's not the half of it. Okay. It's actually a two-parter. So Part one. Uh, the first part to the question is, how do you feel about women and flatulence? The second part of the question is, do you fart with the best of them? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> depending, on where, depending on where you do it. Now, if you out in public, you know, that's kind of like, okay, have some class, go around the corner, around a tree, something. Right. You just do it out in the open and go giggle, I think that's kind of immature. Um, yeah. And, of course, we all, you know, do that. And, yes, when I'm in the privacy of my home, yeah, it's pretty loud. You know, it's at home. It's okay at home. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I am definitely standing behind right. her when she kills you. All right? Because... <laughs> I, I I have no part of this. So I will well, admit it that I said to her like, "What's the limit?" And she goes, "There is none." So I kind of was already okay. ready for this kind of line of questioning. Yeah, but, I mean, look at that. I'm, I'm just leaving it as like as far as that. You know, <laughs> well, that's I'm fine. Is that yeah. personal? Because if nope, if no. she could reach her hand through the Bluetooth speaker, you'd be dead. I mean, oh it, yeah, it's not like I'm not asking bedroom questions. Or you're in the you know? well, we definitely. The ER. I mean, as raunchy as we get, we're not going there. Yeah, exactly. So. That's but, as far as see, my I was, goes. <laughs> oh, so, I don't think so. <laughs> so now the question. I, is, I was completely, I was completely prepared for him asking me, "Did I have a penis?" And then I was going to say, and what I always say what? is, "I do not have one attached to me, but the one that I have stays in my drawer near my nightstand, <laughs> and it's nine inches, and it vibrates." So. <laughs> 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 Wow. You can only see his face right now. Wow. I know. Well, she will, because she's going to want to watch the video. And then she's going to call me afterward and be like, really? <laughs> you went through all of this? <laughs> see, see, I was prepared for anything. Oh, man. My no, what do you love about the show? <laughs> you sure you weren't in the Girl Scouts way back when? <laughs> Um, okay, I'm done. I actually, I actually um, was, I was a Girl Scout. Oh, all right, woo! Yeah. <laughs> so I'm all kinds of, you know, effed up with the whole, like, you know, I wore the Catholic school outfit for nine years, and yeah. now I wear it to be cute. <laughs> okay, all right, I think, uh, I think my range of questioning is done. Um, I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna start asking like shoe size questions from now on. Shoe sizes, oh boy. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's the same. It's the same size sure? as my vibrator. Just so you know. What? <laughs> she just said same size as her vibrator. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Woohoo! That's great. Good vibrator. Natalie, I would love that to give you a be, high, couple high fives for that one. That would one. be a nine <laughs> fucking foot in your mouth, which she drop kicks you. I've seen her throw a drop kick. She throws a mean drop kick, by the uh -oh. way. Cuidado. He's, it's more like, he's fanning it's himself for like a, 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 My feet are very small, so yeah. there. I have a question. The cleaning lady has a question. Uh-huh. Is it, yes. is it okay to, you know, to experience using a vibrator and feeling more pleasure on top of that? Where did that come from? Oh, totally what is, what from left field. Yes, it's awesome. Because there's women out there that they think because vibrator is the best thing. And what about like for experience, you know, for the future, if they want to have, you know, a man and they want to play around, fool around, <laughs> you know, how that would feel. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Well, mine is actually, yeah, see, like, how much do you want to know? Because, I mean, I, I can you know, um, be completely honest here. I think that might be Let like a close circuit. Open. <laughs> Wait, that, no, that's like a closed circuit conversation. Yeah, if, if Anna really wants to know, she will get in touch with Natalina and they can converse about Dildos and vibrators. And your mother. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's all we really need to know. As my mother signs on to watch the show, we're talking about dildos and vibrators. <laughs> yeah. Remember, the different colors. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Wow. Even glow in the dark? Yes. 
Yes, yes. Four click once. Oh. Yes. All right. So God help me. On that note, <laughs> on that note, let's me? bring it. Let's bring it back down to earth instead of the sexual heaven that the the queen lady is in right now. <laughs> oh. All right. Looks like somebody's enjoying it. Caliente. Yeah, oh, Cali Caliente yeah. get set outside. What do you have planned for me is what I want to know. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, oh, Natty, we thank you for having yeah. we're coming on the show. <laughs> we're gonna let you go before the the entire roof falls on us. <laughs> Um, you guys have any, uh, finals for Fanati? <laughs> Which speed do you recommend I, No, 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 no <laughs> we're not going no, there with no, speeds no, on the no, vibrator. No, 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 uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is getting out of control. Wow. But then again, I like it. I it's love it. I want some more end. of it. <laughs> All right, calm down there, Speedy. I think I need something stronger than this tea now. Wow. <laughs> Crystal Pepsi? How about a Red Devil? How yes. about a Red Devil? Yes! <laughs> All right. Jack Daniel. All right, so do you have anything Actually, final Natalina, to say? Natalina, what is your favorite drink, if I may ask? Tequila. It gets me Ooh. right where I want to be. Do you like mixed tequila or anything like that, or no? Yeah, I always have to chase it at least. Uh, but if I know that if I take straight shots, mm -hmm. I know my limit is five. Okay. And I am the most wonderful. I'm the most wonderful person ever when I'm on five shots of tequila. Wow! How about a tequila sunrise for uh, for the morning? <laughs> Woo! Wow! All right, Jim. I'm a, I'm a very happy person when I'm on tequila. Oh, all right. So uh, tequila, it is. You light up. Um, I'm so scared. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh man! Okay, you're scared of a five foot two woman. All right, she can beat me. She will whoop your ass. She will. That's why I would never get on her bad side. Woo! That's uh -oh. why I hide behind her. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, yeah, you always want to stay on my good side. No, but I guess on a serious note, I will say, you know, thank you very much for coming back on the show. It's been, you know, a long time, and uh, please come on as much as you can. You know, uh, whatever your schedule is able to allow you to do, you know, come on as much as you can. You know, we always love having you on. And, uh, oh, absolutely. Um, Def I love it on your show. Yes. It's great. I love the relaxed atmosphere. And, and I it's absolutely wonderful. I do apologize for my sicko range of questions. <laughs> you, you know what? If you can't be honest, then... What's the point? Yeah. You know, there's no point in being you. And, you know, so I think that's why, and I'm not going to say that's why people like me, but I think that's what people... Um, think they find in endearing that I can be right. as honest as, you know, anything. I don't have to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. Well, let me put it in this world we live in now, honesty is a rare quality. So it is, it is awesome that you're as honest as you are. So it is. that's why we love you, you Natalina. Thank you. Gracias. Even thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you. you. De nada. So Natty, when thank, you, when you get a chance, thank you. when you get a chance, send Melissa the, uh, the info for the, the Texas relief. Uh huh. I'll do that. Okay, and uh, we'll put up all the yeah. stuff for uh, PPW and all of the other fundraisers that you've been posting. We'll share that uh, amongst our fans and get some uh, more stuff done out there. Um, and if you really, really want a big laugh, you'll probably want to watch the next episode. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. It, then. Is, it is very stacked, <laughs> and half the stuff that we talked about in this was going toward the next episode. Yes. Oh absolutely. yeah, here we go. Ah. Get awesome. ready <laughs> to rumble. Get ready without the vibrator. <laughs> Get ready to pee in your pants. <laughs> oh wow! All right, Woo. Natty. Oh, we'll talk, Lord. I'll I'll talk to you in a little bit, but thank you again for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You guys yeah. have a great night. Thank Woo. you again for having me on. Let's give it up for this Natty, Thank you, everybody. I'll talk to you in a few, Natty. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. 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 So everybody, that was Natalina Corvino. Her return to the show. She's an honorary Pipe Bomb member. Uh, Pure Pro Wrestling. Check it out online. It's on YouTube. Um, we'll also be pushing the Texas Relief um, fundraiser for all the clothing and food and whatever we can get out to Texas. 
Um, at least through the organization that they're working with, it's foolproof. Uh, there's no BS about it. And we're going to just try to help everybody out down there. Jim, final comment. I uh, honestly, I really had a great time with this episode. And if, you know, she's going to be watching it, she'll hear me once again say thank you so much for coming on and just, you know, really bolstering this episode. Helen. Wow, I'm blown away. I'm very <laughs> impressed with her, and I am, and I love her already. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, guys, we'll be back in about 20 minutes. Um, the new format's coming, so I hope you guys will uh, tune in, share, like, subscribe to our videos on YouTube at Pain Train Pipe Bomb. Helen, move your head. Like that, right there. <laughs> that big one word pipe bomb on YouTube. And we'll catch you all on the flip side.